winner of the 2010 National Business Owner Micro Business Award is Teachers on Net. I can't believe our name just got read out. Folks, if dignity would allow, Melissa and I would have done a cartwheel all the way up to the podium just now. <laughs> Perhaps that's a mental image that you best not dwell on for too long. <laughs> Like most small businesses, we had very humble beginnings and in reality that was me in the lounge room of a rented house calling one school after another, asking them to advertise with us and then me being completely devastated when most of them said no. <coughs> they didn't see the value proposition in advertising on a website that had no traffic and no other advertisers. But today I'm proud to say that Teachers on Net hosts more than 10,000 ads a year and receives an average of 100,000 unique visitors a month. So thank you, Schools and Teachers of Australia. I'd like to thank Telstra as well as News Limited's business owner brand, sponsors of this award. Thank you also to our judges, Brenton and Enzo in Adelaide, as well as Mike and Prue here in Sydney. This award has given us an opportunity to really sit down and closely scrutinise our business. The journey has strengthened us enormously. To the other nominees, we've really enjoyed getting to know you all and learnt so much about your wonderful businesses. Congratulations to you all. It has been great for us to network with you all and get to know past winners as well. Thanks go to our fabulous staff. Tony and Karina can't be here tonight, but I'd like you to meet the others on stage. Kendall who is so committed and enthusiastic, and if I had asked her to do cartwheels on the stage, I think she would have said yes, and how many would you like? <laughs> Chris is our programmer and exceedingly tolerant of the non-technical people in the office, which is pretty much everybody else, <laughs> and he's made it his personal mission to ensure that we have an unbreakable website. Jill is our financial and legal ears and eyes, and she can tell if I've been within an even five metre radius of the petty cash tin. <laughs> To my husband, Michael, my friends and family, thank you for the love, support and encouragement. It is with your support and encouragement that I am able to make my dreams come true. To Petra, my business partner, thank you for your amazing capacity to juggle work and home life. Petra has a one-year-old and a three-year-old at home, and I sometimes speak to her while she's having a tea party in the cubby house. <laughs> she's an amazing inspiration, a fantastic director and a remarkable mother. I have to thank my husband, Patrick, who patiently listens to my frustrations and cheers like an obsessed fan in my victories. Thank you. My family who help out with my kids. Any working parent knows just how valuable this is. Melissa, my business partner, who consistently outdoes me with her capacity for a tremendous amount of work and her ever positive belief. I couldn't do this on my own and I couldn't do it without you. <laughs> Finally, I just want to again express how grateful we are for this award. This award, along with the one in South Australia, is the only thing I've ever won. The only time I've ever come close to winning anything was Grade 3 Swimming Carnival. I dived into the pool, kicking my legs as fast as that little body would take me. I made it to the end of the pool, stood up, removed my $2 goggles that had filled with water and realised there was not another person standing around me. I looked up to my mum, threw my hands in the air and started screaming with excitement. To my complete surprise, my mum wasn't cheering, she was pointing like this. I'd inadvertently swum under all the lane ropes to the side of the pool and thought I had won. <laughs> so if this is a dream and we haven't really won, please don't wake me in the morning. <laughs>